Please watch this video before the surgery so you understand your results and how your body will change. Welcome to Dreams Plastic Surgery. I'm Dr. Cal, so this is Natasha. And we're making this video for uh, those patients that want to have the BBL, liposuction BBL procedure, and uh, to talk about the expectations and uh, what the results will look like after the procedure. So uh, when you sign up for BBL, you have to understand that uh, it's an excellent procedure to change the shape, but not everything about your body changes. Some things stay the same and some things change. So I'll go over some of the images of my patients, side-to-side -side comparison, real images, um, and tell you exactly in each image what to expect and what changed and what didn't change. And I will start, I will show a few different body types. So here, for example, we have a young patient, early 20s, BMI is about 22, she's skinny. Before three pictures is the before images, the top three pictures. The bottom three pictures is the after images. So let's look at the view from the back. So she's more defined, more shapely. I notice hip dips are gone. Mm -hmm. So that's more rounder, mm -hmm. uplifted. So from the back, you see the first thing you see is the hip dips, mm -hmm. the hip dips. Afterwards, there's a very nice hourglass shape and no more hip dips. The waist is narrower. Um, and the overall shape is much improved. Yes, and this is what, one week, right? Um, one or two weeks, yeah. One or two weeks. Yes. So swelling will still come down, correct? Mm -hmm. There's a possibility the hip may come in a little bit more, mm -hmm. give or take, based yeah. off a woman, how they recover, correct? Yeah. Right? Yes, correct. And then even here, this would still come in a little bit more, which would give her even more of a curve because it takes about three months to heal. Correct, but right? you could see the, most of the results. And so the shape is much better. Now I want to point things out uh, that do not change. Okay. So that stay the same after the procedure. So if you look closely, you have the pattern of cellulite here. Yes. One, two, three, mm -hmm. and same exact pattern here. So the cellulite does not change. It might go away the first few weeks after the procedure, but then it comes then it back. it reappears. Yeah, so you just have to know that because if you expect your cellulite to go away, it's not going to. Um, you know, everybody has a pattern of cellulite, it's like fingerprints. Exactly. After this, it's going to be the same. Okay. Uh, what about the, the hip dips, though? So, another thing is uh, the hip dips. Um, if you look closely, right here, mm -hmm. it's not filled all the way. So, it's not filled all the way, not because I didn't fill it, but because the skin there didn't stretch. Everybody has different skin, and so if the skin is stuck to the muscle, it's not going to stretch. Maybe you will need more, round two, round three to... to stretch it out, be able to fill it, to get it. Yes, correct. Usually, the, if you look close enough, you'll see the hip dips are where they were after the procedure too. So you, have, you also have to understand that there's going to be a shadow where the hip dips were. Also, um, I would like to point out that nobody's symmetric from side to side. So if you draw a line, mm -hmm. you could see here this flank is higher than this flank. Yep. And so afterwards, if you look closely, you could see this is a little bit higher than this. You see? You kind yes. Of see? So the, the, the point of this is nobody's 100% symmetric. And Absolutely. if you look at your mirror before the surgery, you will, if you look closer, you'll see the asymmetries and they will stay after the procedure. Yes, and what women don't realize and we forget and we just look in the mirror and we say, oh look, now we're not, we don't have symmetry. Mm -hmm. But that's your body structure. Exactly. And when you have liposuction, we're removing fat and try to reshape, but you're not changing body structure. Exactly. There's still the bones. There's yes, still the muscles, exactly. There's still skin memory that doesn't change. So. Um, you're not getting rid of asymmetry. Absolutely. So now let's look at the side view. So important thing to note here is there's a better projection in the back. The stomach is flatter. And here there's a lot of emptiness. And in this picture, it's actually mostly filled. Also notice the little incision. That's how big my incisions are um, for liposuction. And then there's one here. Um, uh, so more things to notice is that um, although she's flatter, she's not all the way flat, and that's yes. normal, right here. Mm -hmm. I don't think she had any kids, but if you have if you have kids, it's more stretched out. Uh, I'll show you some pictures afterwards. Absolutely. Uh, but you shouldn't expect to be 100% flat after the procedure because it's just that's your muscle in there. That's, yes. You know, you could suck your stomach in and take a picture, and then it looks like you're flat. You know, exactly. People go on Instagram, but that's just for the picture. Exactly. In reality, nobody's stomach is flat, even mine. I was never pregnant. <laughs> so. But wait, these days men can have children, but maybe. let's not go there. From the front view, uh, some things I want to point out also is um, the shape. Like I said, the shape is much better. Uh, it's an hourglass shape. Uh -huh. uh, the, these are my incisions here: one, two, three, four, um, and also. Well, four is in the belly button. In the belly button. Yes. Oh, that's, this is the one in the belly button here. Yes. Um, from the front, you could see more 
that there is a symmetry here. So this side is higher than this side. I don't know if you could see that. You could see it. And then this hip comes out more than this hip. So if you look at the after image, it's kind of like similar. This comes out more than this. It's just her body type. That's natural. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I made her hip larger on one side or the other. Well, that's what happens type. to some women. They think that it's uneven, but it, naturally it's not uneven. It's just your body's anatomy. Exactly, exactly. Um, another thing to note is the stomach. Uh, this right here, the shadow, there's always a little shadow here. And that's also normal because, you know, everybody's stomach is a little bit con concave. And so that's part of the normal anatomy. Mm -hmm. If you had children, you will have uh, more skin here and more irregularities. And yep. you will see those more after the liposuction, but you'll still be flatter. Or the same women that have higher rib cage that come out a little bit more, and they're like, oh, you didn't lipo enough on mm -hmm. upper abdomen. But it's really their anatomy again, because their rib cage is out a little higher and it makes it look like. Exactly, exactly. You can only do lipo down to the ribs, exactly. after the bones, mostly you can't change the, the, base, the baseline structure. Yes. So now, now, let's look at a different patient. Okay, so here we go. Again, the top three, three images are the before photos and the bottom are the after photos. Um, she looks let's, good. Yeah, she looks good. Let's, uh, so this is actually a one-year result. Uh, this is one year after the procedure. So this is what she's going to look like after all the Fine. clothing goes down. Yes. After, you know, everything heals. Um, so let's start. Let's... Uh, but as a woman's perspective, what I see out of this, and not as a doctor, is that I see before, right? All misshapen, extra weight, bulk on the hips. Mm -hmm. I see the waistline in. I see smooth. I see the hip tips gone. More shape. Mm -hmm. Back waistline coming in, mm -hmm. looks fuller. Mm -hmm. Yes, cellulite comes, reappears, but you said that's not going to change. Mm -hmm. um, I, yes, a little bit of more a little near her belly button, a little bit looser skin, but she did have children because I know this patient. But the skin's not hanging. It's no, great. it's not, but it's great. That's why you would see that. The belly button, belly button changes shape a little bit. Yes. Uh, that's just that the lipo, you take all the fat around it, it's going to be, it's going to look a little flatter. Plus, I think her underwear uh, is pushing it's up. It's pushing up, a yes. Better. But really nice shape. Yeah, so that's what it's intended. So let me go over my result as a surgeon, what I see. So this is the before picture from the front. So we have the hip dips. We have the love handles. And then in the back, there would be bra rolls. Now on the after picture, you cannot get the shape any other way. Not by working out, not by anything. Just to be able to give you this hourglass shape where she has absolutely no hip dips left. She has hips and she has a thinner waist. So that's what the BBL does. Um, from the front, the, you know, it's pretty much it's a much better shape. From the side view, here, if you go over to the, the photo... Um, it's completely flat. So, yes. So this is her waist. This is her bra roll on top here. This is her flank, the love handle. So this is the hip dip. dip. The hip dip is, is made from the flank and the, and the muscle being stuck to the, the skin on the bottom there. So it's a combination of things that make the hip dips. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, on the after image, let's see the after image. And she actually had kids, but she's not that no, stretched out. Yeah, yeah. 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 she has she's a thin waist. Mm -hmm. yeah. So afterwards, let's look at the after image to compare. So the waist is much thinner. Mm -hmm. The stomach is also a little concave, but it's much flatter. It looks nice. Yeah. In the back, the um, this right here, the with the bra all smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see a little bit of a still a shadow of the line, but it's almost gone. Over here, this is where the hip dip was. So it's complete. It's almost completely gone. It's full, but if you look closely, there's also always a little shadow there. Okay. And it's because of skin memory. Yeah. So uh, some women come to me after BBL, and when they look closely, they'll see little shadows on their butt, and that's normal. Sometimes it just doesn't go away. Okay. Although the shape is much better, those little those little particular shadows they stay along with cellulite. Well, also too, as women, we forget where we, we started from. So then we need to pick on the end. Yes. Let's be so A year later, um, these are my incisions. One, two. This area right here is uh, always cellulitic, very cellulitic. Mm -hmm. um, almost everybody has that, men, women. And then there's a, you know, there's a dent here in the shadow. So then afterwards, it still stays, it doesn't change. That's kind of the, your thigh, even though you feel the fat around here everywhere, that also will, will stay the same. So just like look at her body, it's much improved. There's a better projection. Mm -hmm. uh, there's more curves, but this area is just pretty much the same as this area. Okay, because I actually have a few questions yeah. that women ask. So as a woman, you're one year out, now you come back, and now we notice when we fix certain things, 
now she looks like upper back, mm -hmm. arms, they look broader. Mm -hmm. Women can come back in and have that done yes. and say if they had a little bit of a hip dip that reoccurred and you needed good fat to go back in. They could use that, correct? Exactly. So the second round doesn't have to be from the same areas. Exactly. You could take uh, fat from the arms. So the upper back, the arms. The upper back, the thighs, the yes. thighs. Mm -hmm. And then you could try to fill the hip dips more. And although it has skin memory, mm -hmm. it, it might fill second time a little more. And also too then, because like I said, we, us as women, we don't realize how much weight we had up above. Because mm -hmm. see, before you don't notice it and after they're like, why so much weight? It's just because we got so small in the waist. Now you can see yes. more of the bulkiness and the weight up on top. So let's look at the, you know, the, the, the back view. Mm -hmm. So to point things out, you know, the, you know, the shape is better. Yes, so great. It's the same. Hip dips are almost gone. You, there's a little shadow here and this side it's almost gone. Now here she's wearing a bra and then it's pulling up the skin and maybe a little bit of fat on the upper back. And that's important because uh, in the liposuction, I um, carve out this area, the waist, yes. up until you get five liters. If somebody's BMI is higher than 29, you there's a chance you'll have more than five liters of fat, which I can't take out. So then I would leave a little bit of fat up here. And, and some people back. have skin, yeah. Mm -hmm. In her case, I think it's not it's not really fat, it's just skin and then it looks Larger in the post, you know, in the post that because of the bra pull, pushing it out. Oh, okay. She's wearing it here, um, but so if she was to say, okay, I want to further improve my body, mm -hmm. to do you know, liposuction specifically of this area, the arms, mm -hmm. a little bit of the inner thighs, and if she wants to be bigger, I would uh, fill it up more. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to ask you another common question that women ask. Say on her buttocks, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go to the middle. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women are always trying to get a little bit more projection mm -hmm. out, so they say they want to look like they got projection outwards. Once you filter it up and she has great shape, if her skin doesn't stretch, are you able to get more of a production? Like going up right from the so, center. Yes, so you you know, you're know rounder. Look, mm -hmm. because she's rounded here. Absolutely. But, um, and here she's a little flat. Um, but she's not still all the way round. Actually, in her case, she almost is round. It's almost yeah. like a half a moon. Yes. But uh, usually there's a little flatness there. Yes. And so, also from the back view, when I fill the, you know, when I when I do the transfer, yes, exactly. This is where I kind of put the fat right here. Mm -hmm. So in this area, I don't fill. There's large vessels here. You don't want to uh -huh. put fat there. And plus, if you start filling uh, this area, that's when you have the fullness on the bottom, and then your butt begins to look square. So then it would kind of look like this, and that's when you see kind of yes, and, you know, and that's the reason that. why you don't do that, so they exactly. don't look like an ant butt. Exactly. So I don't feel specifically here because it makes the you know the butt look in shape. Yes, so that's why women act. So if anybody wanted a round two, if their skin would stretch, mm -hmm. then yes, they would get more projection. If the skin doesn't stretch, you would say leave it alone because they're not gonna see more projection. Their body has met their capacity, correct? Exactly, yes. Okay. So let's look at a different picture. And once again, the top three pictures are before, mm -hmm. the bottom is after. So her body is a very difficult shape to reshape. So she has a, like a V, a v shape and tight skin on the butt, and that's the hardest shape to um, to change. And so let's go over one by one. You know, from the front, she had many surgeries, so she has no belly button actually. Uh, she had a hernia, okay? I, I didn't want to so, I didn't even notice. But look at the shape. So from the front, this is her hips, mm -hmm. and this is the um, the flanks, which are kind of protruding. There's dog ears. You call these dog ears on the side of the tummy top. Yes. And so. Um, that this skin on the hips is very tight. It's a it's a V-shaped uh, situation where uh, if you try, stretch. yeah, if you, no. it doesn't stretch. But actually, in her case, I really like her result because it's stretched nicely. And then if you compare the before and after, um, now she has actually an hourglass shape because this is now her hip and this is her waist. Whereas opposed uh, as opposed to before, this was the left handle and this was tight. So I changed the proportion. Can I ask you something real now? Okay, mm -hmm. so now I'm gonna keep it really real and for a lot of ladies. So a lot of people wouldn't show this before and after. Mm -hmm. Just because very difficult patient, very difficult shape. Mm -hmm. Something that you would just say, some person looking would be like, okay, yeah, that's not what I thought I would get. Yeah. But in reality, in real truth, very difficult case. And she already had, right? She already had the tummy tuck, she had the scars. You try to lipo heart, you're trying to give more shape. Mm -hmm. You're trying to give her underneath where you know that the skin is not gonna stretch, right? The fat's not gonna take. Mm -hmm. So for her, mm -hmm. this is a great result. This is, yeah. But for so somebody else, you would they would say, well, that doesn't look like a good result. You, you can take it out of context. Yes. Like uh, sometimes I see, you know, images on Instagram like this. Exactly. They show this picture and say, oh, uh, this is a botched picture. Look, why didn't exactly. you this picture? Exactly. 
So That's you have to take it in context. Whether exactly. they did before, mm -hmm. and listen, when I see you know hundreds, thousands of patients, and a lot of women have the same issues: the cellulite, the the burrows, love handles, the tight skin, and exactly. uh, you have to know which. You know, I'm showing all body type. And you have to know she, what yes. you look like. And she wants to look good in her clothes, mm -hmm. have shape in her clothes. Didn't have anything before, and yes. realistically, look, look, look at how tight the skin it, is. Yes. And, that's you know i'm in there trying to fill and the skin is it's like a balloon it's not going to stretch that much um but look at look at now, her case in her case she actually has a shape she, she puts on the dress she looks exactly she looks really good and then she has hips mm -hmm. and she has some fullness to the buttocks mm -hmm. so we also look at the side view and the side view this is an illustration of how you, you you're going to be a little rounder sometimes but if your skin is tight you're not going to be all the way around so this right here is her projection almost no projection yes here look at this look how it changed now she has a shape here and then here it's a still tight that's because your skin is it's tight nice. you know anybody over 25 doesn't have cellulite doesn't have tight skin in the body we sit in it so, you know, so for so long that it's hard to expand it and then afterwards the breasts are here and the stomach is closer to the breasts uh, so which now makes her look a little fuller on top that's not so flattened and that surgery before was not from us Yes, she had surgery somewhere. Yes, she had some surgery somewhere else. And this is where we're talking about lipo. Mm -hmm. After tummy tucks, a lot of times you have this scar that goes lateral and there's uh, some you know, some fullness there that you call these dog ears. And then afterwards, just from liposuction, look how skin, the skin tightened up. So this was a patient, had um, a breast lift, a tummy tuck elsewhere, um, and then had skin and then um, had cellulite and, and then had some fat. And this was taking her fat, bringing her in and reshaping her. Mm -hmm. So when she's in clothes, she has a nicer shape. Yes. And that's a real after. Exactly. So this is the real before and after side by side. Exactly. Sometimes, you know, I see other websites or, uh, uh, you know, that's pages where they put like a, not a side by side comparison. They take exactly. the before and then they put after on the table. It's good to show. I show that too, but it's not the result to compare. It's just. Exactly. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's not too. Or they show everybody that pretty much is gonna get what the internet wants to see. Exactly, now, put a filter, lady, filter the cell that goes for it. Yes, that had some other issues. You know, this is a result and very happy with the result. So I'm gonna stand up so that everybody could see. See, naturally, women have our roles in indentations. When you lipo, you're taking the fat down, taking the bolt down, but a lot of times those folds, because they're there, will still be there, correct? They'll still be there. I try to get rid of them as much as I can, so this is actually two weeks out afterwards. They, they can flatten out all over the okay. like, For example, look at, look at, look at this uh, image here. Big, sorry. Uh, you see she has, the, she, has the, you know, she has the rolls here, mm -hmm. and then afterwards, look at the waist. There's no more rolls. But I want to show something else. Uh, if the BMI is higher than the 30, I split the surgery into two parts. Yes. So first you get the stomach, then you get the sides and the back. So she had a 360, two parts. So look at it. Look, at, she has a waist. Uh, uh -huh. Prove the waist. She still has a little bit of rolls, but look, it's, it's much better. The curves are much better. Absolutely. The cell light's still there, but I think I don't think I did a transfer on her. Uh, but important to know what your stomach will look like, and I think this picture shows uh, that it's better, but it's not perfect. And this is what I mean. So before she had the skin hanging in two places. Afterwards, this is just liposuction, there's no tummy tucks here, and the skin tightened up. It's not hanging more, it tightened up. If you look closely, you always have these shadows around the belly button. If you're, you know, if you if you if you were pregnant before, you just you just your skin is stretched out. If you're high BMI, your skin is stretched out. Also, too, so, on the belly button, though. See, before you couldn't see it. Look, after you see it. See it, yeah. People will say, "Well, why is there some?" Well, that's the skin, also, you know, right around on the top part of the belly button. But yes, okay. So, so you know, what to take from this picture? You know, you you have a, you know, an improved shape, mm -hmm. uh, and the skin it doesn't really. Uh, it doesn't really hang. It, it no, it looks up. great. Yeah, it tightens up. It's yeah. like perfect. It but not up. everybody tightens up, Dr. K, right? Almost everybody does. Yeah. Sometimes if they have a lot of lax skin, stretch mark skin. Yes. Over. But then, then you should get a tummy tuck. Exactly. Yeah. So let me show you a patient that actually had a 360 BBL. Mm -hmm. And then a year later, she had a tummy tuck. This is our patient here who, um, you know, she, she came in, she she had, if you look at the before picture from the front, the, her skin was hanging. From yeah. the side, it was hanging. Her stomach here is actually protruding further than the breast, and here, the breast is protruding further than the stomach. So, she got thinner, the waist became much thinner, the bra roll almost disappeared, you see? Um, the waist is very thin, uh, although she's uh, raising up her hands here, and she has them th this way here, more horizontal. Uh, so, um, but from the front, uh, you know, a lot of times patients ask me, what will my stomach look after? Will I need a tummy tuck? Will um, my skin hang? So this is a you know sometimes it looks like this you know it hangs and then afterwards um there's still you know there's extra skin and then there's irregularities and that's 
normal if you had children, if your skin was stretched out, because as it shrinks, mm -hmm. it shrinks. So here it hangs, here it doesn't hang, but still, if... if she yes. also took off her faha though, let me say, ladies. So that's why you see a lot of the lines. So when they come in, they have their faha and they take it off, you see some of the lines. Some of the lines, yes. So in her case, you know, she loves her body, but uh, she did not like this and she wanted to fix it further. Mm -hmm. So we did a tummy tuck on her and then um, half a year later, this is her, you know, after the tummy tuck. Mm -hmm. um, that's like, you know, I think that's the only picture I have, but after the tummy tuck, um, let me say why, because a lot of ladies don't like us to take a lot of pictures. Sometimes they want to keep certain things private, certain things they'll let us show. So sometimes there's pictures that I can't always get to show you. So no, but I didn't come back for follow-up yet. Yeah, oh, I'm for sure. her, but I'm I, saying, oh, no, but same for, yeah, 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 sometimes because they ask us why don't we have a lot of pictures. Sometimes we are not allowed to show a lot of the pictures. Sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. the patient has that right. So this is right after I took out the drains. She came back, uh, and this is so about a week after the tummy tuck. Yeah, so. Which is so this, small. This is the scar, you know, all tummy tuck scars where you get mini tuck or full tuck. The scars are back from here to here. Uh -huh. The belly button looks much better and then this stuff around the belly button, the skin is smoother. Yeah. So, uh, ultimately, you do uh, might want to get a tummy tuck if you don't like the skin in the front. Exactly. But a tummy tuck is more expensive. So, a tummy tuck is about 18000 whereas lipo is about 8000 So, yes. there's the difference. Um, Which, in both ways, her fullness was gone. She got shape. She looked good. Mm -hmm. And then after that, if finances are okay, then she goes and removes extra skin. Even if she didn't, she still looked great before. Exactly. Um, let's just uh, show probably one last picture for now. So here we go, before on top, bottom is after. This is a, I would say, you know, um, uh, most of the women that, that come in, they, they have this particular body shape. This is, yeah. this, is, uh, this is very common where you have the, you know, the, hip, roll, the hip rolls here, the dents. Uh, very flat butt. Yeah. And so, you know, from the front, she had kids. So she has a little extra skin, some shadows. Afterwards, this is the, from the compression, but uh, it's better. There's a little shadows, but uh, uh, the skin didn't hang. It, it you know, it tightened up. So. It's still early process, though. She still has yeah. sages wearing the faha that still come back a little bit because mm -hmm. this is early so stages. The shape, the shape is much much improved, uh, whereas the shape was kind of squarish here. The hip rolls were high. Um, from you know, from the back, she's rounder. Uh, from the side view, you know, her stomach is a little bit out. Afterwards, it's also, that's normal. It's not going to be all the way flat. She looks good. She looks natural. She has curves. Put that in a dress is what we're looking for. Yeah. And so if you look here, this is the my incision and then this my little incision. From the Small. back, the my incisions are here and here. And on top. And from the, uh, yeah. And from the front, my incisions are one, two, three, four. So. The belly button girls. The belly it's not outside. So these are my typical incisions for, for all the BBLs. Oh, also for, for the back, I have, if you get in the fat transfer, I have, make two incisions here. In her case, you can't really see those. No, not at all. Yeah. And usually most girls, you really don't see them. In the beginning, you see them until you heal. The point of showing all these pictures is to show realistic results. Uh, they're not Photoshop, just to remove tattoos. Exactly. Uh, they show all the imperfections of the body, cell type, asymmetry. Mm -hmm. And so, if you get into surgery, you really want to look at this video to understand how the body will change. I think today we, you know, we looked at different body types. Absolutely. And so, uh, see what you're most similar to, but also understand that if you think you look like somebody before, it's not, a, it's not a fact that you will look like thereafter. Exactly. There's a lot, of, there's a lot that goes into like the surgery, the aftercare. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, uh, how your fat comes out, you know, how and fibrous how you, it is, you know. But then also too, us as women, we have to also understand after we have the surgery and you did all your work, it's up to us, we have to eat right, mm -hmm. heal right. Mm -hmm. It does take between three to six months. Mm -hmm. I went through it myself, so I know. And with that, you really, it comes in more and the skin comes back more. Mm -hmm. It's very nice results, but there's no such things that what you see. Yeah, there's no such thing as perfection. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, the way you look, you know, you look at a picture before and after. If the after that has no cellulite and it has no cellulite on the bottom here, this is the area that nobody operates on, like you know, with exactly. the transfer. Then you know it's Photoshop because exactly. Uh, How many times okay. you pointed out to me? Yeah. So I'm like, what about her? Yeah. You're like, don't you see the line? Yeah. He does it to me all oh. the time. I'm constantly yeah. bringing in pictures. Look, 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 this one, this one. He's like, here's the line, and then now I know this. Well, different angles you can compare. Sometimes exactly. uh, the way when I see the, you know, a lot of people they narrow the waist and increase their. Uh, hips afterwards. So you, you know, if, if there's a photograph where the line's supposed to be straight, or like let's say a door or window, and it curves in, you know, it's not like a morphic hole. It's not a dimension. You know, it's Photoshop. I got it. Also, the angle you could take the picture. Yes, exactly.